When there is one deaf child in the family, it is better for that deaf child to teach his or her family sign language. They need to try, and if they don't understand, they can use gestures. I like playing volleyball, I like dancing. When I'm at home and I have nothing to do, I decide to chat with my friends and I feel good. When the teachers are on strike, I keep myself busy by studying or chatting via SMS or written memes with friends and family, especially my brothers. I cannot keep quiet. I must express myself freely with members of my family and understand one another. We found that uh, Catherine is uh, deaf, but it was not immediate after she was born and uh, it took some time. That's when I realized there must be a problem. Because when she, she was just walking that way, I could call her or clap my hands, but she could not respond. So I was wondering what's wrong with this. We also realized that there was a, a close correlation between K Catherine and, K and Grace. So at that time now we realized, no, no, we must go to the hospital. I felt a lot of mercy, pity for them because I knew they will never express themselves and say this is what I want. They will never speak a word to me and tell me, mom, this is what I want. A mother is always there for her children. It's only me maybe whom they can express themselves or my spouse. But since they are girls, they will feel free to express themselves to me more than the other, the, maybe their father or the other relatives. So you must be bold enough as the leader of the house and show the leadership and tell, tell them that we are there, we are going to look for finances, we are going to educate you to the level that you want. Actually, this is our promise. You know, when you have such a condition, what happens is that people come telling you so many stories about it. People tell you, go this way, go this way. At times even we are told to take our children to the witch doctors, just to see whether something can be done, because that used to be. So those are part of um, the emotions that uh, we, 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 we were to bear with. But uh, eventually we overcame. Or even where we, I normally say, have my two deaf children. People feel, feel a bit pity. They, 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 they feel sorry for me. But at times I, I normally tell them, no, you should not feel anything for me, anything bad about it. It's just a situation. I can say to parents with young children who are deaf is that they should take them to school, they should not feel shy, they should not listen to the society or what people are saying, they should take up the burden because parenting is a career. What I may want to tell the parents uh, is that they need to be bold enough. It's only that you speak of your problem that you can get a solution. I totally do love them, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my sisters taught me sign language. Yeah. I can understand 60% of what they are saying. Obviously, I'm not the most fluent person, but yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. You know, they're also clever, so if they want to gang up against me, they'll use the deeper, the deeper version of sign language that I don't understand, so they'll have beaten me there, yeah. <laughs> to go to church where most people are hearing 
and I didn't like church. So when my parents want to go to church, I could find something for me to stay at home. So later on, they told us there's a church for deaf. Sometimes I'm too possessive. I don't feel as if I will release them to the world. I feel like just staying with them. Because I want to be a, a, a model parent, I want to be a, 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 an example father who shall bring up his children to the fullness of their life. That's what I want to say. <laughs> 